Okay, another core. Maybe off laner. Maybe a mid. I mean, but what are the options? Ten seconds remaining. Zeus? Wow. Zeus. Okay. Choose your hero. I was gonna say. This is so weird. Alright, so Zeus limp. And you have the weave armor per second, which is pretty damn solid. Or the shadow wave cooldown. They're gonna run right into the clockwork. He gets a ward down. He's about to get killed, I believe. Rolling boulder. See ya, flea. Space created, indeed. And they're gonna probably de ward this. Boulder, he might need to use it to get away. Flea. He's close, but not quite close enough. And here we go. Ritsu's gonna find maybe an arrow. He's a little far up. Soul Kisser will go. Needs to be careful. Arrow will hit. Good disruption coming out. Shackles go is instantly. And Ritsu, Zeus ulted. Gonna leap himself away. Arc light and can deny himself the boulder smash. Almost hits the rolling boulder. Z Free can't find him. Very close. They won't lose anybody. And Ritsu is just gonna run on through mid. He'll find Flea instead. Soul Catcher comes out. He's got cogs. He might actually live. And Ryoya kind of doing some damage to uh, poor Kyle. Stan King's gonna die elsewhere. There's the Astral. Snake King will find Moo in the top lane in the meantime as he rotated in. It's two for one trade. That's the weirdest fight I've ever seen. Chessie in the meantime is split pushing. I really wish I saw what happened to Moo because he died. He got a kill on to Stan King and he died for it. This game's very strange. Blade Fury, Stan King about to die again. Chessie with a dive. He has a healing ward, so he's still fine. Also, the ward scouting at Ritsu. Ritsu has been running for a long time. He's finally got a salve to work with. Almost has his Perseverance, and then Demon Edge is going to be the next item that will get him to that particular item. Rolling Boulder, Rio is going to get caught. There's the Boulder Smash. They've got the Silence as well. They need the Zeus Ult. Not enough damage. Good Fairy Fire. Ryoya will survive. Now jumping in, Scream of Pain, looking for Z Freak. They have Sonic Wave. They're going to get both of these kills. Lemp is going to get chased down and drop Cogs, maybe. Sonic Wave, yep, they really wanted those, and they'll get him. Double kill for Snaking. And man, Ryoya just barely survives. That fairy fire and wand charge were... Chessy had a TP, could have gone for it, but uh, decided not to. Boulder Smash will hit. I don't think they can turn this. Weave is dropped. Scream of Pain is going to hit. Shadow Wave, they've got Grave. Moo is fine. In the meantime, Ritsu's diving again, and Kyle's going to get arrowed, and he's going to die to Starstorm. Destruction comes out, maybe keeps him alive, but there's going to be another leap, I think. Hmm, three leaps. I'm sure Kyle's not happy about that. They'll take the tower in the meantime. They're also going to take the Stan King Rasta. Yeah, that's the problem with that hero. You could just leap away three times in a row. Good attempt, though. Moo's going to get chased down. He's got Grave. Might need to use it. Yep, he will. Looking for Stanking, actually. Shadow is available. Stanking's dead. They'll get the kill on one. Snaking now. No Sonic Wave. That's to blink out. Chase can try to chase him, but there's no follow. -up. Ritsu throws up an arrow. Limp needs to be careful. Healing Ward's going to hit on him for now. By Ritsu, it'll be taken immediately by Chessie, and they're going to head into the Roche Pit. Flare comes out, and now they know they're in Roche. Can they stop them, though? They're immediately running in. They don't have everybody on either side yet. Z Freak needs to be careful. Arrow will come in. They're going to hit on no one. Sonic Wave under two. The Zeus ult to fly. Moves in trouble. The Grave comes out. Certain words drop. Hook shot as well. Chess is in trouble. Not dead yet. The Omni Slash will come in. Roche is still alive, but the Serpent Ward should bring Chessie down. He can't get off his healing ward. It's a two for one trade for now. And they're going to get three. Triple kill for Ryoya and Roche along with it. Very well done. A very aggressive play from Complexity, but Peachy J are going to grab the Sages. And Ryoya is going to go down bottom next as well, trying to push Wave in. Dyer's top tower is under attack. My way! All right, well, again, this game has moved at a snail's pace for the past five minutes, but that's fine. Hex now, they're going to find Chessie. Yeah, he's dead. All right, well, so much for that. Literally two seconds later, and they get the biggest kill of the game. Again, they don't have Aegis, they just lost it. And they're going to go ahead and take down this uh, tier 3 tower, it looks like. Or attempt to, I should say. Take down his wishful thinking, perhaps, for BGJ. They'd like to. Hook shot going in. They've found Z Freak. There's another hex, and all of a sudden, this is starting to look bad. Serpent Ward's coming in. Two down, and now with Serpent Ward's, perhaps they do take the tier 3 tower. Wishful thinking, not so much. 
the glyph will come in and they're looking for more limp is gonna get caught and killed a wicked six free now an orchid up moo is getting dropped but he's got that grave he will get it off the astro comes in too little too late sonic wave flies through good disruption from kyle might have saved him the racks will still fall chessie's back alive there's that healing ward a lot of damage being done but they cannot quite bring these buildings down not yet anyway Range racks will fall first, it looks like. The ward's still doing their job. Arrow sailing in. Chessie will sidestep it. Melee racks, they don't want to stay too long for this. They would like to get it. The uh, Serpent Wards aren't going to do enough. They needed one more auto attack there before leaving. And they went three tower. With Stanking using the Serpent Wards just to get that building, they need to be careful. Now they don't have it for Roche. Z Freak and Complexity are going to try to find something here. The Flare will fly right over Kyle's head. Richard's nearby. Might get caught. Demonic Purge will leave himself away. He has BKB as well. Where's the follow-up? Z-Freak still has blink. Looking for Stanky. He'll find it. The Zeus still coming in. The Silence next to it as well. Forced away for now, but he's going to get dropped. Air will hit him to Kyle. It's time to run if you reach J.S. Storm. Ryoya about to get caught. Good blink away. Rolling Boulder not there in time, and Ryoya's going to make it out. Another leap from Ritsu. Good Boulder Smash is now out of leaps, and he's going to get caught and killed. Omni Slash going, and that's a big pickup for Chessie. Now down to 13k in that worth lead. Take them all back, and Limp is going to maybe have to deal with this here in a moment. But they're in Roche. This is going rather slowly. Serpent Wards will be back up in 50 seconds. Of course, there's no Rost, so it doesn't really matter. And this is the good news. They don't have the best push. But here we go. Complexity looking for his uh, flea. They're going to find him. They're still going to work on this 2-3 tower, though. They need to leave here in a moment. Snake can get Blink out in BKB and TP, although he doesn't actually have one. He has a haste rune, though, so I'll be fine anyway. They'll try to chase him down, but I don't see this working out. Good boulder smash hits on it too. There's the hex. The weaves drop down. Snaking needs to be a little careful. Orkin now dazzles gonna get caught. Forced away Sonic Wave. That'll just narrowly hit the tail end. It's back over at Roche. Stan King is in. Demonic Purge is there. The Shackles will come out. The Moonlight Shadow. He's gonna get dropped down. And here comes Snaking. Doesn't no Sonic Wave available. Glimmer Cape coming out. The dust will come through. Ryoya trying to fight. This is all of a sudden not that great. Rich is in. He's got the Aegis. And he got the kill on the Roche. And that might be game. Sandy's Eclipse takes down one. They're going to get another in Kyle. They will have buyback for the Junk, so it's not over yet. But still, it just feels really awful when you lose Roche like that. A double kill for Ryoya, who is now godlike. Vici J Storm are feeling themselves. Diva's Orchid BKB. He is super rich. Wards have been placed. There's a high ground ward coming in from the Radiant. Arrow will come in, but they will dodge it swiftly. KB comes out for Snake King. Disruption as the Rolling Boulder came out. That's really not good for Z Freak. He's about to die. Scream of Pain. Good Glimmer Cape, actually. Zeus all comes in. Z Freak will go for the TP. And now Chessie might need to do the same. X comes out. That'll be on to another. It's going to be Kyle. Omni Slash doing a lot of damage to Ritzy, but they have cheese and Aegis, so this isn't going to do anything. And Chessie's going to die. That's going to be another death. He does have buyback. The Aegis will at least go. Meanwhile, inside the base, there's more action happening. Jump in. Ryoya now magnetized. She's still available. Forced away. They even pop the weave. Buyback at Jesse. He, uh, he's going to Blade Fury. They have Hex in one. Shiva's guard. They'll grab the kill on Z-Freak. No buyback for him. Hook shot. They really want Chessie. With him dead, this will be game, it looks like. GG should be called. Game two will be going to Vici Game Vici Gaming Storm. Really well played. Great draft. Uh, the complexity draft, they kind of beat themselves, I feel like, still. What are you going to do? All five dead. There it is. GG's called. Really well done. All right, folks, that is going to do it for Game 2. Beachy Gaming Storm will take the uh, the victory, and we're going to go to Game 3. Winner of this series, move on to play.